Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Sunday, March 31st, 2024, Easter Sunday, the Resurrection of the Lord. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from John, chapter 20, verses 1 through 9. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Christ is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Kristen and I want to wish you a very happy Easter, and in a special way, a very special Easter blessing to all those who have journeyed with us during this season of Lent. Your comments, your encouragement, and most especially your prayers make this ministry a tremendous blessing. Kristen and I feel very blessed to have you as part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel of Transformation invites us to reflect on our own journeys, especially when we face our own tombs of disappointment and bitterness and fear. Many times we feel trapped in the belief that joy and hope are just relics of the past. They're overshadowed by the tombs that line our paths, like the tombs of personal failure or societal indifference, and the stark reality of our own mortality. These tombs can leave us questioning, stagnant, and alone in our sorrow. The Easter story challenges us not to remain paralyzed before these tombs. Instead, like the women on that first Easter morning, we're called to embrace the transformative message of Christ's resurrection. They did not linger at the tomb, but they ran to share the joyous news that Christ is risen. This proclamation was not just a declaration of Jesus' victory over death. It was also a call to the disciples and to us to embark on our journey to Galilee, to rediscover the mission and the initial call of our faith. So what does going to Galilee mean for us today? Well, it signifies a dual movement. First, stepping out into the world with courage and moving beyond our fears, and yet, at the same time, returning to our own personal Galilee, the place of our first encounter with Jesus. After all, it's in Galilee where we all experienced our first transformative love of Christ, where our own story began with him. To move forward, we must remember this foundational encounter because it's in the remembering that our hope is rekindled and our mission is reaffirmed. 
Today, let's ponder our own Galilee moments, those times when Jesus became more than just a historical figure to us, becoming instead a living presence, a source of unconditional love and understanding. Let's retrace our steps to those pivotal experiences to reignite the flame of our first love for Christ. Remembering our own Galilee is crucial for our own spiritual renewal because it is there that we find the strength to face our tombs and to transform them into places of resurrection. And so today, let's pray, reawakening the joy and hope of our first encounter with the Lord and opening ourselves to the transformative power of Easter. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.